Hey everyone, senior high school student. Statistics and probability, week two guide for mean of discrete random variable. So this will be our second video for our its module time segment. So for our first question, let X be the number of typographical error found per page in a certain books. The probability below shows the probability distribution of X. So before we will answer this type of question, let me recall to you the steps in getting the mean of a discrete random variable. Step one, you have to identify all the possible outcomes. Step two, you have to determine the probability of each possible outcome. Number three, you have to multiply each outcome value with its respective probability. Step four, find the sum of the product using the formula. Then for the last step, for step number five, you have to interpret the Result. So for this given item, you have to find the mean of x or the probability of x. So for this given um, item, you have to use this table. So in table natin, we have the value of x from 0 to 4. So that's our step 1. Then from uh, this given part, the probability of x from 0 0.50, 0 0.25, 0 0.15, 0 0.05, and then 0 0.05, that's our step 2. So we will start in solution natin for this given item for step number 3. So for step 3, you have to multiply the value of x by the probability of x. So for this given item, yun to lang po yung gagawin natin. So multiply 0 by 0 0.5 to get 0. zero um, 1 times 0 0.25 is 0 0.25. 2 times 0 0.15 is 0 0.3. 3 times 0 0.05 is 0 0.15. Then 4 times 0 0.05 is 0 0.2. So next step for our solution, we have to use this formula. So for our formula, the summation of x times the probability of x. Or in short, you have to get the sum of this third um, row. So for this given item, you have to combine 0 by 0 0.25, 0 0.3, 0 0.15, and then 0 0.2 to get 0 0.9. So for the last part, you have to interpret our result. The mean tells us the number, uh, the average number of typographical errors found per page in a certain book that would appear is 0 0.9. So for this given item, yan po yung sagot natin. So number two, let X be the number of boys in a three-child family. The probability distribution was presented below. So for this given item, yung um, given natin for the discrete random variable or the variable x is yung value natin for the three child family. So what is the expected value of x? So for this part, you need to find the mean of this given problem. Kasi yung mean natin is equal to the value for the expected value. So you need to use this um, given table and then you need to use this map. So in this um, kind of situation kasi, diba, meron tayong three child family member. So for the first member, it could be boy or girl. For the second situation, again, it's either boy or girl pa rin yan. And then for the third one, it is either boy or girl pa rin yung maging situation natin. So to find yung mga outcomes natin, um, you have to consult or use this given um, illustration. So for this part, ito mga possible outcomes natin. It could be boy, boy and boy, boy, boy and girl, boy, girl and boy. Boy, girl, and girl, and girl, boy, and boy, girl, boy, and girl, 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 and boy, and girl, girl, and girl. So for this given um, situation, these are uh, the values of um, our outcomes. And for the sample space, our sample space in this situation is equal to 8. So next step natin is, ito nga, yung value ng um, x natin will depend on the number of boys for this three-child family. So for this given situation, as you can see, di ba, boys yung pinag-uusapan natin. For zero, meron lang naman tayong one outcome na merong result as um, zero boy. Ano lang yon. So we have girl, girl, and girl. So since one um, event lang naman siya, so you will have one and then over the sample space. Ang sample space natin dito is eight. So you will have one over eight. And how about for one boy? Ano yung one boy naman natin dito? So you have... Um, girl, boy, girl, 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 boy, and you have boy, girl, girl. So, meron tayong three um, situations. So, you have three over eight. 
And then for two um, boys naman, you have boy, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy. And then you have girl, boy, boy as three over eight. And then for three boys naman, you will have one um, event lang or outcome as boy, boy, and boy. So for next step, you have to multiply the value of x by the probability of x. So multiply mo yung zero by uh, one over eight. Meron tayong zero. One times um, three over eight is three over eight. Two times three over eight is six over eight. Three times one over eight is three over eight. Next step. Use this given formula and then add um, the value for x times the probability of x. So, meron tayong 0 plus 3 over 8 plus 6 over 8 plus 3 over 8. So, since similar fraction siya, um, copy the denominator and just add the numerator. So, 3 plus 6 plus 3 is 12, then over 8. Then, simplify this given fraction um, into lowest term as 3 over 2. And in decimal form, you will have 1.5. So, interpretation, the expected value tells us the average number of boys in a three-child family that would appear is 1.5. So, it's either one or two boys for a three-child family kasi wala naman tayong 0.5 individual. So, next one for the third question, for a piece of rolled paper numbered 1, 2, and 3, and 4 are placed in the box. If you... Pick one and the number is noted, then replace another. If it, this experiment repeated many times, what is the mean of the numbers on the paper? So, you have to visualize muna yung um, given problem natin. So, for this given problem, meron tayong four papers numbered as one, two, three, and then four. So, you have to pick one. Then, after picking, you have to return the paper and then pick another set of paper. So, in short, yung sample space natin, hindi siya skin mababago. So, our sample space for this given problem is equal to 4. Meron tayong total for uh, possible outcomes for this given problem. So, find the mean of x. So, let's say meron tayong ganitong table. So, yung probability of getting 1 um, in this given experiment is 1 over 4. Kasi isa lang naman yung 1 natin dito. And then, you have 4 choices. The same thing with 2. You will have 1 over 4 lang din. The same with 3 and then even 4. So, meron lang tayong 1 over the 4 chances na makukuha natin yung specific number na yun. And then, for the next step, you have to multiply 1 by 1 fourth to get 1 fourth. 2 and 1 fourth to get 2 fourths. Uh, 3 and 1 fourth to get 3 fourths. And then, 4 times 1 fourth is 4 over 4. Next step, uh, plug in those value in this given formula as the summation of x times the probability of x. So, you will have 1 part plus 2 part plus 3 part plus 4 part equals 10 over 4. And then, simplify this given fraction as 5 over 2 or 2.5. So, for this given um, problem, the mean of numbers on the paper that would appear is 2.5. Shortcut nga natin dito kung tutusin with this kind of problem. Um, you um, add this given item and then you have to divide this by the number of data. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 divided by 4 and then you will still arrive with 2.5 as the mean. So, next one for question number 4. 1,000 raffle tickets are sold at 100 pesos each. The winning are as follows. One price of 20,000 pesos, two prices of 10,000 pesos, and then 10 prices of 2,000 pesos. What is the expected net gain if a person buys one ticket? So in this kind of problem, so we will use um, table once again to solve this problem. So for this given table, yung value of x natin will depend on this given problem. So for the first one, identify the sample space. Ang sample space natin dito is the uh, total number of tickets in the raffle. So meron tayong 1,000 raffle tickets. So meron tayong 1,000 as the sample space. And then, for our prices, consider 20,000 pesos, 10,000 pesos, and then 2,000 pesos, and the cost of every raffle ticket as 100 pesos. The first three uh, values natin for this given table, nandun tayo for the person who will eventually win dito sa given um, raffle natin. So let's say for the first price, meron tayong 20,000, di ba? Since meron tayong um, cost, 
uh, the ticket as 100, you have to subtract 20,000 by 100 to get 19,900. So for the second price, 10,000 minus 100 is 9,900. And then for the third price, um, 2,000 minus 100. So for winning, so how about for losing naman? So for losing, since meron tayong cost of every ticket as 100 pesos, yung value natin for X is equal to negative 100. So you have negative 100. And then next, uh, find the probability of X. The probability of X natin will depend on the number of winners. So for this part, let's say for this given item, for 20,000, di ba? Isa lang naman yung possible na manalo ng 20,000 out of uh, 1,000 tickets. So meron tayong 1 over 1,000. Then for the second prize, meron tayong um, 2 individuals. So you will have 2 over 1,000. And then yung third prize natin, meron tayong 10 persons. So you have 10 over 1,000. And then last one, itong part na to, madederive natin sa by subtracting yung 1,000 with 1, 2, and then 10. So, as a result, meron tayong 987 over 1,000 chances of losing. So, mas malaki yung chances of losing natin um, in this given situation. So, for this part, multiply the value of x by the probability of x. So, 19,900 times 1 over 10 is 19,900 over 1,000. 9,900 times 2 over 1,000 is 19,800 over 1,000. 1,900 times 10 over um, 1,000 is 19,000 over uh, 1,000. And then negative 10, negative 100 times 987 over 1,000 is negative 98,700 over 1,000. The next step, use this formula, the summation of x times the probability of x. So you will have 19,900 over 1,000 plus 19,800 over 1,000 plus 19,000 over um, 1,000 minus 98,700 over 1,000. And then you will arrive with negative 40,000 over 1,000 and simplify this given term as negative 40. So for our answer, it means that the average gain for this given problem is equal to negative 40 pesos. Or we can uh, also conclude that you might um, lose at least 40 pesos for this given raffle. Kasi negative po yung given. And then last question, Mike and John are playing a game. So Mike roll die and John will guess the number of dots comes up. John will pay 50 pesos to make a guess. And if you guess uh, correctly, Mike will pay uh, 500 pesos. If John makes three guesses, how much money is expected? So for this given problem, consider natin yung die natin. So yung die natin ng sample space neto is 6. And then yung game nila, so... Um, John will need to guess yung magiging outcome nung pag-roll ng given die natin. So meaning, meron tayong 1 out of the 6 chances na possible na manalo si John. And then syempre, meron tayong 5 out of the 6 chances naman na matatalo siya. So consider itong amount of money that he need to pay and the amount of money na pwede niyang ma-receive by uh, winning or by guessing yung um, result correctly. So for this given problem, consider this um, table, the value of x, the probability of x, and the product of x, and the probability of x. So for this part, so meron tayong value for winning, and then value for losing. So kapatulad lang din tahalos nung um, problem natin kanina. So for this given part, subtract uh, 50 pesos, 500 pesos by 50 pesos. So you will have 450. And then for losing naman, syempre, you will not receive anything and then minus 50 ka pa. Then for this given part, di ba, as I said dun sa explanation ko kanina, for winning, meron lang tayong 1 out of the 6 chances. Let's say, for this given event, di ba, hulaan niya, alimbawa, result ng die as 3. Di ba, meron lang naman tayong 1, 3, 4, um, the given result of rolling a die out of the 6 chances. So meron tayong... 1 over 6. And then for losing, syempre, subtract 6 by 1. So you will arrive with 5 over 6. And then, 
to get the value for x times the probability of x multiply 450 by 1 over 6 and then you will have 450 over 6 and for this given part negative 50 times 5 over 6 is negative 250 over 6 and then use this formula then substitute 450 over 6 minus 250 over 6 is equal to um, 200 over 6 or in lowest term you have 100 over 3 or 33.33. So meron tayong 33 pesos and 33 centavos for one guess. But since based on our problem meron tayong total of 3 guesses so meron pa tayong multiply. So it means that you have to multiply yung expected value natin as 33.33 by 3 to get yung um, given problem natin. So you will have approximately of 100 pesos. So for our answer, it means that the average gain is 33 pesos and 33 centavos. If John makes three guesses, then he would expect to gain 100 pesos. So again, thank you senior high school student for uh, watching this video lesson.